Long ago, a darkness fell on the lands of Parthoris. Cities burned and their peoples enslaved. The serpent rider of the sparrow reigned supreme. Until out of the fires arose a hero, one who would combat the minions and disparrow himself. Ever the brave warrior! Your serpent lies dead. It ends here, disparrow. Somnated son. At long last, home. No! No! This isn't right! Damn you, Disparrow! Damn you! Although the reign of Disparrow was brought to a fiery end, the Serpent Rider had left Corvus cursed to wander the outer worlds, searching for a way home, battling for his very survival. Tomes of power have been opened, and a powerful spell has been cast. The aura will serve as a beacon, allowing me to open a world ripple to our realm. So many ages. Arthoris was becoming just fragments in my mind. Corvus, go. Return to your homeland. Our journey is over. This isn't right. Where is everyone? What has befallen the people?
Consumed by insanity. They attack anyone in sight. Thousands have died. But you. You can save us once again. Uh, there's talk that a Sithra healer has found a cure across the swamps in Andoria. You, you must go there. It is not my destiny to be a hero. The lands of Parthoris are battlefields. Soon we will join the infected or die at their feet. You must go to Andoria. You must. You'll have to break free from the city. The Celestial Watcher has used magic to seal everyone inside and secure himself in the palace. Crush him, and you can cross the swamps to the cure. Stay, and we'll suffer a fate worse than the Serpent Rider. I will go. Thoris 
will not be taken again. Corvus, be warned. The lands are filled with those who spread the plague. They carry globes that contain the deadly mist.
jam.
to open this elsewhere.
constellations, seasons. What is the meaning of all this? Season of the Sun. The Raven. It is the symbol of my people. And now you have turned all of it into a prison. The plague has become ruler. You should not have returned, Corvus. You might have survived outside the city. Your fight has been in vain. Again. I have recovered from opening the world's ripple, but not in full. Corvus, you must listen to me. You have been infected. No, not now. I will not fall to this. Corvus, I can protect you for now, but we must hurry across the swamps to Endoria and find the healer. It will take most of my strength to fend off the madness. I am uncertain how long my power will hold. You needn't fear. I will move quickly.
Andoria gates are sealed. I'll have to find another way inside.
last, inside the city. Go! I mean you no harm. I seek the healer. Oh, your skin. You have the plague, yet you have your wits. How? Oh, tell me. I am protected by a tome of power. But its power will not last. I need a cure. Can you help me? The heretic. You are Corvus. I know who I am. Are you the healer? Will you help me? Yes, I am Sianan, the healer. But I cannot help you. I would need another sea crystal and vial of pure earth blood to make the cure. But Andoria, uh, it is ravaged by the infected. I am too old and weak to fight. A trade. I'll retrieve the ingredients in exchange for your help. A fair trade, fair indeed. There is a sea crystal in the heart of the great library in the academic quarter. But you may be unable to enter. It was constructed solely for the Sithra. As for the other, go to the slums. You'll find a pool of pure earth blood. It was used to create the plague and is therefore part of its cure. 
Be sure to find a suitable container to carry it back. The plague? It was created? Such evil is not born of nature. Only magic. Mokadavan. I know nothing of him other than he created the plague. And the twisted denizens who spread it watch for the infected. I'll help you when you return.
sea crystal.
This should hold the earth blood.
they? Minions of Morcalabin. He must know of the cure. Hurry, no time. Madness will fall upon me quickly. You have the crystal and the earth blood? I do. Go to my lab. I have prepared the cure. Just add a sliver of the crystal and four drops of earth blood. Go. Heals just as before. Ocean, it's not. Why are you healed and not me? Why? I feared this. Seethra are not like the she. As you know, our anatomies are very different. The cure must be incompatible with your kind. Can it be fashioned for the she? Not in time to save you. But don't give in to fate just yet. The High Priestess of Kachikrik is very wise in the arts of magic. She may be able to conjure a cure. Fight magic with magic. Kachekrik? It's too far. I would have to travel around the Kel Mountains. No. No, there are caves under the mountains. We use them as passage in dire times. The route is menacing, but your need surpasses the danger. Enter this portal. It is a gateway into the caves. Are the Tchekrik infected as well? I do not know. I dispatched a scout several weeks ago to learn of their condition, but he never returned. Remember, tell them you need to speak with the High Priestess. They will not deny you this right. I am grateful for your help. Should I survive, I will repay you. Oh, you already have. With another lot of the cure, I can save many more of my people. Enough. Go to the High Priestess. Find a means to save us all.
sent by Sirnan to Kachakri. He cured me. And now I lie here. <coughs> Facing death. Unable to tell him. <coughs> Are the Tachekrik infected? They seem immune, but still, they attacked when I reached the city. The high priestess. <coughs> Outsiders, thinking they all carry the plague. Sending the warriors to kill anyone who isn't part of the hive. My journey has been for nothing. No. No, she may listen to you. If you can gain entry. But the amulet. You need it to cross into the warrior's gauntlet.
Hmm, something's missing.
something's missing.
Warrior's amulet.
translate quickly. You have trespassed in its Chekrik city and are to be punished. You will be consumed by the hive. Tell them I have retrieved the amulet. I need to see the high priestess. Tell them. As you wish. Because you have returned the warrior's amulet, you will be granted permission to earn the right to see the High Priestess. Challenge accepted.
To rid yourself of the plague, I can grant your wish. But are you willing to leave behind all for which you have fought? I will pay no cost. Pythoras should band together and fight the plague as one. Heroic. Like the tales of your battles. Often one's traits remain in the hive after being consumed. Your kind is immune. Help me bring an end to the scourge. <laughs> Foolish elf. I am helping you. When you are one with the hive, only then will you be free. It's all I seek. I did not come here to fight you, but... But you had no choice. Truth be told, I am grateful to you. 
The madness has disappeared, for now it seems. Madness? I thought the Tachekrik were unaffected. Not fully. Morcalamon's magic is powerful. He uses a unique strain of the plague to control anyone he wishes. Myself, your celestial watcher, even his own people. We have all become part of his army. There must be a cure. One that can break Pertorus free from his grasp. Indeed, I believe the plague can be stopped. But not by a cure. I do not understand. Morcalvin is a seraph. A lie! A Seraph would never unleash such evil! I understand your devotion to the Seraphs. They are your ancestors. But I speak the truth. Although it was not his intention to create the plague, Morcalvin is to blame. Seraphs do not act without discretion. They are near gods! Exactly. It was out of this arrogance that Morcalvin tried to cast the spell of ascension. He sought to elevate himself and the other Seraphs to immortality. But the spell failed. He alone became immortal and twisted beyond reason. But there is hope. If the spell is righted, it could bring an end to Morcalvin's reign and the plague. It seems you have no choice but to fulfill your destiny. That of a hero. What must I do? Confront Morcalvin. He has constructed a stronghold in the World's End Mountains. I can teleport you into the mines beneath. But once there, you are on your own. Send me. Now. I will bring an end to this storm. Once and for all.
a suitable power source.
The effects of the plague are getting worse. I will ward it off as long as I can, but you must continue on.
elsewhere.
but one false tome remains. Carry me in my book form and place it over the false tome. Only then will the spell be completed.
been a seraph once, but are no more. You have slain the mighty Seraph Rider. I suppose you intend the same for me. If it has to come to that, you must know that even with your tome, you stand no chance of victory. We shall see. We'll sit in the belly of a Tichet critic for less than a day before being fully absorbed. Often alive until the end. I will. 